They don't care because you're trying to dress for success and put on a, I want purple ones or I want blue ones. I don't care what you want. Get one that fits you correctly. Okay? You got to put the other shoe on at the same time. Okay. The more expensive the shoe is, the worse it is for you. What? Did I stutter? No. The more expensive the shoe is, the more problems it can cause because the technology that cost that made that shoe expensive forces your foot to do things it was never, ever meant to do, which creates a problem. Okay? Then stand up. Now, we relaced his shoe. He's got a... And all I'm going to do is test right there again, make sure that's strong. Don't let me pull down, hold. See how much stronger that is? And that has to do with the lacing pattern. Now, he's got a pair of shoes, like I said, Mizuno I usually don't have a problem with, but they've got a loot, an eyelet here that needs to be incorporated into that shoe. It just it, It's not a good shoe because the eyelet isn't right to do the correcting correct on there. Okay, now... Anybody have any questions? There's a couple of different ways, that, and we'll provide you with these on how to loop through there, but ask somebody on staff. They can go through. I want everybody's shoes done tonight. Okay? Now, let's bring you up here. Come on. What's her name? Good answer. Okay. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to do a couple quick tests here before you put your shoes back on. Lay down. I want to make sure we don't have other things we're dealing with here. Uh, yeah, we can do it from this side. Elbow straight. Don't let me pull down. I'm pulling this way. Hold. Good. I'm going to do a couple quick things. Hold. And again, hold. Elbow straight. Recruit the knee more muscles when you do that. Hold. Good. Okay. Go ahead and put your shoes on. Where's trash at? Where's trash at? Okay, stand up. Go ahead and lay back down, please. Get off the end. Okay, come this way just a little bit. There you go. Now, without doing any checks, I already know she's got problems. Okay? Elbow straight because your shoes don't fit right. Hold, don't let me pull down. Hold. 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 And it's definitely on both sides. Okay. So, what muscles do you want me to pick on? I'm just going to pick on you. Gluteus medius. Anybody know where it's located? It's right here. It's on the side. Do not let me push in, Jenny. We're going to test your right leg first. Okay. Don't let me push in. Hold. I said don't let me push in. I'll do that again? Yeah. Hold. Want to try that again? Yeah. Hold. <laughs> doesn't work, does it? Hold. Don't let me pull in on the left one. Hold. That didn't work either. Okay. Let's pick on the strongest muscle group in the body. Anybody remember what it is? Water cells. Okay. Now. I'm going to push that way. Don't let me push that way, okay? Hold. I said don't let me push that way. Hold. Doesn't work very well, does it? Okay, now all I'm going to do is take this shoe off, and I want you to wiggle the toe. Did you click? That's because it was fixated, because of the way you were doing your shoes being too short. Don't let me push that way now. Hold. Difference. Yeah. Now all I'm going to do is this. Hold right there. All I'm going to do is do this. Hold. Notice any difference? Okay. Now, why did that happen? It creates a fixation in the great toe. All I did was tap the toe. So in order to fix it, she'd have to wiggle the toe again. Hold. And it's strong again. Okay. Whenever you have a shoe that's either too long, which is typically not the case, or one that's too short, <laughs> you thought you were going to be able to get up, too short, it creates a fixation, which starts a chain reaction, and we've documented 242 muscles.
that don't work during the support phase. Okay? Now, I just picked on one. Now, you wiggled that toe, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, don't let me push in on the right leg. Hold. Notice any difference in the strength there. 